Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, Madonna's Finally Enough Love 50 Number 1 Hits is number one in 27 countries on iTunes, but it's not number one in Australia. I feel guilty. I haven't bought it. It's the first Madonna album I've never bought. Um, I either ran out and bought the CD, you know, on, 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 on the day it was released, or um, I started downloading and then buying the CD later. Um, but I didn't buy this one because I just sort of was like, why? There's no new content. There's nothing about it. But um, despite that, it went number one all around the world, except in Australia, and I feel responsible. Like, maybe if I'd bought it, maybe that would have been the one that got her over the, over the line. I don't know. Am I that important? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just, I'm just glad to see it went number one, because I was wondering how it would do, because I'm like, am I the only person who's just looking at this going, mm, no. I mean, I'm going to buy both CD versions just to have the different packaging and all that, but I'm in no rush to get it. And I didn't buy the digital downloads, so I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm not going to be exploited. I'm not just going to buy something just because it's Madonna. Yes, I know I'm buying the CDs later for the packaging, but I'm not buying the digital download just so I can say that I bought it and was part of, you know, the, the, the count for that week. Um, just because I'm a fan and therefore I have to. I'm only going to buy something if I actually want it. And I want the CDs because I like the packaging. I've looked at it, it looks good, and I just... As a completionist, I have all their other albums, and I have all the and some of the special editions. And the last few albums I've gotten the special editions, so I'm going to do that. But this is just to say, hey, she's number one. This is good, and she's also on the cover of Paper, licking things, licking people, just lots of licking. Um, it's 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 very tasteful. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Madonna and her new album of remixes with no new content um they're all available before i think i think some of them actually weren't in fairness weren't available everywhere but they were available just not officially um and it just bugs me that there's only 48 number ones on the album they keep saying 50 number ones there's 50 tracks but they weren't all number one singles um on the charts two of them were from you can dance but you can dance was released as like an EP which had a bunch of songs on it. They weren't all number one, but it was number one, so it doesn't count as none of the singles individually count as number ones. And then she doesn't have causing a commotion on there. She's got something else on there instead. So it's 48 number ones. So I'm tired of people calling it 50 number ones when it's 48 number ones. Now, had she included causing a commotion and included um, Break My Soul, the Queen's remix, and had the confidence to assume it would go number one, she would have had 51, it would have been 50 number ones by the time it was released. So yeah, I'm just party pooper, sorry, but I'm not going to lie and be fake and, and be like, oh my god, I'm such a good fan, I'm going to buy this just because, I'm going to say it's the greatest thing just because, because if I don't, I'm a bad fan. No, you're like a real normal person. Um, I find some of the fans really disturbing. But um, yeah, I'm going to go.